Hello, El Dorado. And welcome back to Ego TV. Now let's start the announcements. The book fair is starting today, so make sure you check out the lovely books and accessories that are available this year. You may shop before school every day this week except for Thursday. Don't shop on Thursday. Or after school every day. Students with cash or e-wallets can also shop during this school. So see you there, and thanks for supporting the Eldo Library. Tickets for the Little Mermaid are for sale, and they are for sale, and they have shows on the 8th, 9th, and 10th. To everyone who will be in the play, break a leg. March is Women's History Month. Women's History Month is a dedicated month to reflect on the often overlooked contributions of women to the United States history. Women's History Month first began on March 7, 1982, as Women's History Week to acknowledge women. Contributions to the American society in 1987, Congress passed the first joint resolution to designate March as Women's History Month, which includes International Women's Day celebrated globally on March 8th. Brody? We want to appreciate everyone in this school, from preschool to eighth grade. Also, all of our amazing staff and teachers for doing the very best work and working your hardest to be the best you can be. Since we're almost at the end of the year, make sure you do your best and dare to soar. Now, let's read some of your friendly feathers. Tessa shown kindness when she helped me with my slideshow. Islay showed kindness. Isla. Isla showed kindness when they cleaned up after band. Ryan Zabel showed kindness when he let me borrow his jacket when I was cold. How do you say this one? Rhiannon and Abby. Rhiannon and Abby showed kindness when they were telling me I belong. And Tucker showed kindness when they stood up for me. Now, on to lunch with Josh. Hello, El Dorado. I hope you had a great day. Now here's the lunch for the week. On Monday, we have beef or bean nachos. On Tuesday, we have oven roast chicken with mashed potatoes, gravy, and biscuits. Also, we have spaghetti with marinara and cheese. On Wednesday, we have all beef hot dog with beans and tofu chorizo tacos with coleslaw and rice. On Thursday, we have French toast casserole with a sausage and berry sauce. And finally, on Friday, we have pulled pork sandwich with coleslaw and plant-forward bolognese with garlic bread. Also, on Saturday, it's just grapes, apparently. Thank you. That is all for the lunch. Now on to the no-no segment. Hello, and welcome back to the no-no segment. I hope that you're enjoying your day. Today's no-no is no skipping class in the bathroom. This student was bored in class and decided to skip class. In the bathroom. Bro, are you serious right now? I'm playing Clash of Claws. What? My goodness, people these days. This is a display of pure negligence to how this would make the teacher feel. It would be extremely disrespectful to the teacher. It also clogs up a stall in the bathroom to people who actually need to use the restroom. Well, well our time is up. We'll see you on the other side. Bro, I told you to leave. I'm the Riddle Master. Last week's riddle was, imagine you were trapped in a room with no door, with no exit. How do you get out? The answer is just stop imagining. This week's riddle is, what two things can you never eat at breakfast? I hope you can figure that one out, Uncle Adam. See you next week. Bye! Sore interviews. I'm here with Skyla Herbert. Now, Skyla, why did you win a sore slip? It's because I plugged in all of my class's computers. Why did you do this? I did it because it helps Miss Messis and Mr. Riesel. How can you encourage others to do have good behavior like this? It helps them and other people, and it makes you feel good doing it. It it really does. That's all for sore interviews. <laughs>